Okay, good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's Australia, New Zealand, and also uh, some parts of Asia's uh, ASEA team training. My name is BK, and tonight we're going to talk about the ASEA compensation plan. I'm going to try my best to go through the compensation plan at one go so that we have a recording that you can always easily send out to your friends uh, or new associates who wants to learn more about the compensation plan. I understand that the compensation plan, the question about the compensation plan is probably one of the most commonly asked question or the favorite question that a lot of people would like to ask about. Okay, so before we got going, I just want to um, let you know that you actually do not need to be an expert on the compensation plan. Okay, you honestly do not need to be an expert on the compensation plan. Because, uh, and a lot of times, uh, don't, of course, don't let learning the comp plan ever be your hang up. Okay, because uh, that's not important at all. You actually just need working knowledge of the compensation plan. And this is something that you will learn by working the business. Okay, this is something that you learn by working the business. And the number one secret to our business is actually that it does not matter what works, it matters what duplicates. It does not matter what works, it actually matters what duplicates. So guess what? Um, for the past year or so, for the past few months or so, I've actually shifted my emphasis on myself or my approach to this by actually not sharing the comp plan as much anymore. And the interesting thing is that my business has not gone down. My business has gone up instead. You know, when people ask me about the compensation plan, what I really do is I literally just point them to a training that I've done or to a training that somebody else, else has done. This is like something like tonight, you know, and let them watch the compensation plan. Because um, a lot of times, it is almost like a knee-jerk reaction for a prospect or even a new associate to ask about the comp plan when um, they wouldn't be able to understand fully if they have not engaged the business at all. So having said that again, be rest assured, you do not actually need to know all the nuts and bolts about the comp plan to have a successful ASEA business. We are going to go through the nuts and bolts tonight and that would be a recording that you can easily send your team members or your associates or your new, uh, even your prospects too, if they really want to know about the comp plan. But save yourself that trouble. Don't have to worry about being an expert in this compensation plan. So what I've done is I've modeled after the, the following training, uh, after the ASEA corporate training video. And all I've done is actually just added addi additional notes, okay? So we always like to begin with the end in mind. It is always good to kind of decide for yourself uh, a roadmap. So one of the things that you may want to know is uh, what are your income goals? Because understanding a compensation plan is, is the nuts and bolts, but in reality, where do you actually want to go? And this is what I usually will show people first because once they kind of have, uh, they let me know where they want to come in at, then I can kind of help them and guide them according to the comp plan on what kind of things they need to do to be able to hit those targets. So uh, it's always good to start with the income disclosure statement. And this is the 2019 ASEA income disclosure statement. And these are some of the things that we can talk about. So number one, okay, from a very simple, um, the average pay for a D300, which is one of our basic ranks, is actually 441 US dollars. Now, some of you listening to this training, you may not be from the US or you may be in other countries. Just check with your working sponsors about what is the exchange rate that we peg it at. So for example, for Australia, it will be 1.4. So whatever numbers you see here, you just multiply by 1.4. In Singapore, it's also 1.4. In Malaysia, for example, our newest market, it will be 4.2, okay? So then the next level is bronze. Uh, the first executive level, you are getting uh, about 2,000 on average, 2,040 US dollars per month. And then you go up to the diamond ranks, you're looking at something between an average of 15,000 uh, and to high of about 25,000 US dollars per month. And of course, if you aim for even higher, please go for it because it's at an ambassador diamond level and, and above, you're looking at something like 110,000 to almost 200 over thousand monthly uh, level, right? So when somebody tells you what they want to aspire towards, then you can kind of guide them accordingly because the, the different levels will kind of require different levels of effort. So our compensation plan is actually a very, very, um, a very, very thorough and very lucrative one. So there are actually eight ways to get paid, uh, all the way from retail bonus, preferred customer, fast start bonus, director bonus, team commission, executive momentum bonus, check match, and diamond pool. 
Now, what you will notice that if you, as you pro progress in the business, as you talk to more and more people, uh, some of them would obviously have experience with other companies. A lot of times, one of the very common reactions or feedback that we get from them is that our comp plan is actually a very, very fair and lucrative one. So some parts of the comp plan are, are engineered towards helping you to get fast profits. Some parts of the comp plan are help, helping you to um, get residual income. And some parts of the comp plan obviously would help you to gather legacy income, okay, legacy income. So a few principles to get going first. I always understand that 50% uh, of global volume is paid out to associates um, on a weekly basis. Okay, so 50% of global volume would be paid out to associates. So they will find a way to pay out all 50%. And how much of the 50% you get is then of course a factor of how much or how hard you have been working for the week. And it's paid weekly. Okay, it is paid weekly. So we, we do not have to wait for two, two weeks or even a month before we start seeing the fruits of our labor. So you're, you are literally paid on a weekly basis. And always commissions, remember that commissions are always paid, uh, are paid based on your product volume, which, which means this. So every product that we have, um, there is an ascribed product volume or PV. So for example, what you see on the screen here, a case of Asia Redox would be 100 product volume, uh, a set of uh, uh, the, the five piece set of the Renew Advance, which includes the two uh, Renew uh, 28 gels inside, that will be 150 PV. And of course, a set of the VIA series will be 115 PV. For those of you who are in markets that uh, at this point in time do not have any of these products, then obviously you will not be able to see them in your back office, okay? So these are the, the ascribed product volumes for the products that we have now. And every month, the basic thing that we need to do is to, as, a, as an associate, as an active associate, is that we need to have one order of 100 PV, which can include your customer volume, which I'll talk about in a bit. So that means the very first thing we need to do is we need to be active. Okay, we need to be active. And the easiest way to be active is actually to have an active auto ship. Okay, so set up an auto ship if you do not already have one, set it up. Okay, and because when you have an auto ship, not only do you help to keep yourself active all the time easily, you also start to earn something called loyalty rewards points, which you can use to exchange for free products when you accumulate enough of these points. Except for Thailand and Philippines, um, they only need to be, they can stay active with only 50 product volume or 50 PV. So for Thailand and Philippines, it could be um, two tubes of Renew 28 and that can keep them active. But that is only up to the um, team commissions level, which later you will see. And obviously this is the most important line. All the magic begins with being active. We are often always asked uh, by people, is there a maintenance to this business? Uh, and I always tell them that there's nothing to maintain if you're not doing business, okay? But if you are actively building a business, then the minimum requirement is actually one case of personal consumption, which is 100 PV or 50 for these two countries that we just mentioned, okay? So the following uh, rest of these slides, everything in the video is based on US dollars. The figures are based on US dollars. So when you watch this, please remember that they are based on US dollars. So the first part of our compensation plan is actually retail sales, okay? We actually have a, a component that we can earn through retail. So it is very simple. We have a wholesale price as an associate, and obviously there'll be a retail price as well. There's a published retail price that is transparent and anybody can see it. So therefore the difference between the retail and the wholesale would be your profit, okay? As a quick example, if you find three friends and they buy products from you and they buy at retail, which is 160 US dollars. So what happens is that retail at 480, the wholesale is actually 390. You actually will have a retail customer bonus of about 90 US dollars. So on an average in our company, um, it could be an average of $50 for retail customer bonus and also as high as $1,000 for some of the top earners who have maybe a lot of retail customers. 
So about retail, some quick notes about retail. Send them to your link, that your, your own personal ACL link, which is in this format, which is something, some, which is um, like xxx.myacllife.com. So replace the triple X with your own username that you have selected during your enrollment process, okay? And then when somebody buys on that link or via, via that link, um, the, the difference would be paid to you in the following week. And in fact, the R retail bonus purchase can actually count towards your personal volume. It counts towards your personal volume. So if you do not have an active auto ship or you have not made any purchase for that month, if you have one retail customer and they're buying something like that, you actually can um, maintain your active status as well. And any remaining volume above 200 product volume will actually be added to your lesser leg volume for the week. So let me repeat that. If you have excess of 200 uh, product volumes, maybe let's say you have three or five uh, retail customers, the rest of the, uh, anything above 200 will actually flow down to your lesser leg volume and help to count towards part of your team commission. So as an example, like what I've just said, so if you have five retail customers who each buy 100 product volume, totaling 500, 200 counts towards your personal maintenance and 300 will actually float towards your lesser leg volume for the week. And then we come to the next part of our compensation plan, which is the preferred customer bonus, which is the preferred customer bonus. So a preferred customer is slightly different from a retail customer. They actually will enjoy um, the wholesale price without having to enroll. Okay, but they have to enroll on a monthly auto ship and then they can enjoy the wholesale price exactly like an associate. But, and you also earn $25 per case of product that, you, that they order, okay? Uh, but they count as only 50 product volume or 50 CV, which is conventionable volume, okay? So just to be clear, one case of ASEA Redox is usually 100, but to, to you, when they are preferred customers, it only counts as 50, but you, you will already have earned 25 US dollars from that order. So another quick working example for you. If let's say you have um, six, retail, six preferred customers in a month, Okay, that would, in, that would mean that you're already earning 150 US dollars, say for the month of January. And again, because they are on auto ship, they are going to renew or reorder the next month. So in February, again, you're gonna earn $150. In March, you're gonna earn another extra $150. In April, you're gonna earn 150 and so on and so forth. So as, as long as they stay on auto ship, you will earn the $25 per case of product that they order. If they do not order a case, they order anything less, then it's 25% of whatever they order as a PB. So again, these are company numbers, good to know. On average, it's about $50 from preferred customer, but it can go up to $1,000 for some of the top earners who actively use um, this preferred customer as one of their income earning plans. So some notes about preferred customer. A preferred customer must be on auto ship. Okay, they must be on auto ship. That is the condition uh, for which they can buy products at wholesale price, but not having uh, to enroll as a member. If they ever, if for some reason they stop their auto ship, they actually will revert to becoming a retail customer. Okay, they'll, re they'll revert back to a retail customer. And if they do want to go back and enjoy the preferred customer pricing again, they will actually have to call up company, they call up the support, and just tell them that I want to reinstate my preferred customer status. Uh, and then they start an auto ship again and they can enjoy the preferred customer pricing again. And another thing to note is that your preferred customers earns loyalty rewards points exactly like you would as an associate. And I repeat that it's exactly like an associate. Meaning if one case, if they order a case of a CR Redox, which is a hundred product volume, although it counts only as 50 CV for you in terms of your um, commission or revenue generation, they will earn five loyalty rewards points on that order if they're at the 5% tier. Uh, if they're at the 10% tier over time, they will also will earn 10. If they're already up to the 20% tier, then a case they will also earn 20 loyalty rewards points. 
And again, uh, all the all your preferred customers, their volume, in this case, their commissionable volume, can count towards your personal volume requirements to stay active. So if you need to stay active with 100 product volume every month, if it's your personal order, then in this case, you need two preferred customers to help you stay active. And if you're already an executive, then you need four preferred customers to help you stay active if they, buy, they each buy a case of product. And so the same thing applies uh, as the, exactly as the retail customers. Any remaining volume will also be added to your lesser leg volume. So if let's say you have more than uh, four preferred customers, the rest of their volume from the, the other additional preferred customers you have, um, they will actually float down to your lesser leg volume again for that particular week. The only thing is that preferred customers do not hold a position in the binary tree and that is, they must start from scratch when they join in the future. They must start from scratch when they join in the future. Okay. So this is quite important for you to take note. Um, if you do have preferred customers and then later on, they kind of um, not sure that whether they have a pref they have a position in the binary tree or not. So to, to let somebody sign up as an associate or as a PC, uh, you kind of have to, you kind of have to decide on your strategy. And um, sometimes I, I, for myself, I do not have any preferred customers at all uh, because I, I do find that having, having them becoming an associate is a lot more beneficial to them. Therefore, I actually do not talk about preferred customers to them, which is also another, re another reason is because sometimes when you tell people too many things when they're trying to decide to join uh, the business or to join you, um, it becomes difficult for them because they have multiple options and they just get confused. So um, to, to help to prevent that, what I usually do is I do not actually give them that many kind of options because in actual fact, the reality, it is true that as an associate, they do, they do have a lot more benefits. Uh, maybe you never know six months down the line, somebody may have a change in their life situations. They may like to have a business that they can fall back on. So um, I do not have any preferred customers. I leave it to you. You have, you have to decide yourself whether that is part of your um, strategy. But having said that, I do know that there are some uh, mothers who stay at home moms. They do, uh, they do not have as much time as some of us would like to have, for example, um, because they have, very they have uh, children with a lot of challenges. And they do have a lot of preferred customers because um, for that, they kind of can earn uh, a lot faster using preferred customer. Okay, so we move on to the next exciting part of our comp plan, which is the fast start bonus. So what is it? So the fast start bonus is a one-time bonus at the time of enrollment. Okay, and as an example, if somebody comes in with an entrepreneur product suite, which is 1,015 uh, commissionable volume, you will get 20% of the full CV. Uh, in this case, it's kept up to 1,000 uh, PV or CV, so you get 200. So when you enroll somebody with the entrepreneur suite, you actually will already earn a fast start bonus of 200 US dollars. And then if somebody comes in at the renew advanced business pack, uh, which is about 400 CV, then you'll get 80. And the last one, if somebody comes in at the personal pack, which is 150 CV, then you will get 20% of that, which would be $30. So as you can see, very obviously, it's a one-time chance, it's a fast start bonus. You will want to encourage people to pick up the bigger packs which is obviously more value to them anyway, but at the same time, you also earn a bigger amount of the fast start bonus. So a quick working example for you, let's say you have four friends or four new associates and they each enroll with a, a business pack. Um, every one of them, you'll be earning $80 as a fast start bonus, which means that you're getting a fast start bonus of 320 for the week when you enroll four new persons. So again, company figures on an average fast start bonus per week is about $100, but it can be as high as 1,005 for some of those who have a lot of personal enrollments on a weekly basis. So again, some quick notes about fast start bonus. Not to be confused with another incentive that we have called the fast forward, okay? So this is called the fast start bonus. We have something called the fast forward. So the fast forward is an incentive scheme. It is currently ongoing for most countries. Some countries have fast forward and some countries have something more, which is called fast forward 
plus. So just check with your local leaders uh, on as to which program you have. But essentially, fast forward, remember, it's an incentive scheme. It might change over time. It is not part of the compensation plan. And the fast start bonus, again, always remember, is only paid once um, during the time of enrollment, okay, um, for the week to an active associate. So all the way back to step one, if you enroll somebody and you're not an active associate, um, then the fast start bonus will actually flow up to the next uh, working sponsor who is still an active associate. Now, how that happens, usually if you are still in, in the business now, you would be active. But what, how that happens is that sometimes when you talk to people and some people have tried the business for a few months and then after that, they kind of lapse their, their uh, active status. But the friends that they have introduced along the way, they decide to come on after uh, a, a period of time and then they call the person, maybe the three-way expert and say, hey, I, the, the, you know, remember we met a few months ago and I would like to take part in whatever you were telling us about, right? And then they sign up. So at that point in time, what you can do is you quickly call your team member and let them know that, hey, um, you know, so-and-so John, uh, you remember John, we have we spoken to him a few months ago and now he's deciding to come in. So when they come in, that particular week itself, before the week is over, as long as your team member um, puts in an order for, for 100 PV, they will actually be active and they will also be able to enjoy the fast start bonus for that week. So again, remember it's capped at 1000 PV, meaning the maximum amount you can get for every new enrollment is 200 um, for a per enrollment. Next, we come to director bonus, okay? Um, so director bonus is a one-time uh, bonus as well. When you, when you as a new associate come in and you join the business, you have between your enrollment, you have exactly a, comp, a total of a 14, full 14 days to enroll two new people. You actually achieve something called the director rank in our business and you actually will have a fast uh, director bonus paid out to you. Okay, and it is 50 US dollars. So when you achieve, let me repeat that, if you enroll two persons within 14 days, you will achieve a $50 bonus. So how does it work? So yourself, you must first personally be active. And then you enroll someone on your left personally with at least 100 PV. And you enroll somebody on your right with also at least 100 PV. Congratulations, you're now a director in our business. And if you have done it within 14 days, you would earn a fast start. Um, you earn a fast start director bonus and also the fast start bonus as well for each of the two. So the fast start bonus for the two new enrollments could be as, uh, as at a minimum of 40 if they both only come in at the personal pack level or it could be as high as 400 if they both came in at the entrepreneur pack level. So why would you want to encourage uh, some of your new team members to go for, to go and become a direct or to go for the director bonus is because these are company numbers and these are very interesting numbers because uh, a director who, somebody who has gotten a director bonus, he is 13 times more likely to achieve the rank of bronze. Okay. And he's also 15 times more likely to achieve the rank of diamond. So if you want to set your team members up for success, okay, or any of you on a call or listening to this video, if you're new to the business, you would want to go for the director bonus because you are 13 times more likely to hit bronze and you are 15 times more likely to become a diamond. So set yourself up for success, go for this because this kind of, these are the numbers that we see in the business. So some notes about the director bonus you have two full commission periods to achieve this, two full commission periods, okay? The easiest way to think of this is like that, okay? So you enroll, the first Friday you come up to is actually what we call, what I call Friday zero. And then after that, the next Friday will be Friday one, and then you have Friday two. So you have up to Friday two to achieve this director bonus. So again, as an example, today is Monday, for example, and uh, in four days time, you will hit Friday, right? You hit your first Friday. So the first Friday, we will call it Friday zero, okay? So after that, you have two more Fridays to achieve this. You have two more Fridays to hit your director bonus, which means you have two more Fridays to enroll two new persons, one on your left and one on your right, 
uh, with at least 100 PV and you have achieved the director bonus, okay? So um, you, you definitely would have 14 days and most of us have 14 plus some days, okay? And now we come to an exciting part of our compensation plan, uh, which is the team commissions, which is probably one of the key components that we have um, to earn. So remember earlier on, I, I said that in the two countries, which is Philippines and Thailand, uh, they only have, uh, they only need to maintain 50 product volume to stay active. Now that 50 product volume to stay active also en enables them to be eligible to earn team commissions, up to team commissions, okay? So once you become a director, okay, you have gone for the director bonus, you've gone, you, you have achieved the rank of director and you're an active director, okay, you are actually qualified for team commissions uh, for that particular month, okay, for that particular month. So that again, remember you have one active person on your left. You are personally active with 100 PV for that month. You have one on your left that's active. You have one on your right that's active with also 100 PV. So you have a left team and you have a right team and you start to build, they start to grow. So as you grow your left team and you grow a right team. So as an example, say on your left team for that week, you have 6,000 in commissionable volume. And on your left team, a right team, you have 5,000 in commissionable volume. And you are going to be paid 10% of, uh, of that lesser leg volume, which is 5,000 in this case. And you earn 500, in, uh, 500 US dollars. And then you will wipe off 5,000 and 1,000 from the left will carry over to the next week. Okay, so this is called team commissions. So for team commissions, just take note that there's a cap of, of 10,000 US dollars maximum per week. Okay, there's a cap of 10,000 maximum US dollars per week. And always remember as you're building your team, you should always be building on your outside left and your outside right. Okay, so you build on your outside left and your outside right. So some company figures again, team commission payouts, team commission payments, on an average, it is about 200 per week, but it could be as high as 10,000 US dollars for the top earners, okay? 10,000 US dollars for the top earners. So again, some quick notes about team commissions. All volume under your left or your right team would count as your commissionable volume. It doesn't matter who brought in the volume. So the simplest way to think about uh, to think of this is when you log into your back office and you can see the volume on your left and on your right. And sometimes you see names that you don't recognize. Um, those are likely to be uh, other team members that have come in from other sources. But as long as you can see them and the volume is shown there, they count as part of your team volume. Okay, or and it can be counted towards your team commissions. And the cap. Again, another reminder is 10,000 US dollars per week. But even the cap of 10,000 US dollars per week, it actually is for the highest uh, rank of triple diamond. Okay, so one, you, you can only be paid out at 10,000 if you are triple diamond or above. Okay, if all the other levels, at the other levels, the other ranks, okay, for example, a director 300, if you are a director 300, even though you can have $10,000 payout, uh, but you can only, be paid out at 500. So the figures are there, 500 for director three, director seven, 750 and so on and so forth, okay? So uh, if you want to be paid out the maximum amount of 10,000, go for triple diamond and above. So for up to now, if you're watching this training on a video or recording, okay? We have covered all the way to team commissions. And um, I would like to say that if you are very new to the business, you may want to stop at this point in the training because, or at this point in the video, because um, everything else after this can become a little bit more confusing for you. You actually do not need to know any of the other parts until you hit executive ranks. So I just want to put a place, a, a place marker here for you. If you're watching this training or you're listening to this, uh, watching this video on the recording, um, you can actually stop here and then focus on the first five areas, which is ample enough for now, okay? And then once you hit the executive ranks, then come back and watch the rest of this video, okay? But we're gonna move on. We're gonna talk about executive momentum bonus in the next bit. 
So the next bit is exciting is what we call the executive momentum pool. And we have all this accessible to us if you hit the executive ranks. There are four pools in total, the bronze, the silver, the gold, and the platinum. And they go for 12, 16, 20, and 24 weeks for a total of 72 weeks, uh, all in all. And you share in 2% of global sales. You share in 2% of global sales. Now, what does that mean? Uh, that means that uh, it doesn't mean it, it doesn't matter whether it is your team or it is somebody else's team. The whole entire ASEA, the total revenue generated, you can get to share in 2% of the global sales when you qualify for these bonus pools in the following way. And 72 weeks is almost a year and a half. Okay, it's almost a year and a half. Okay, and this, um, this EMP or the executive momentum pool bonus is paid out only every four weeks. So you get a big payday uh, every four weeks. And this four weeks, um, it is based on a published calendar. Please go back, go and log into your back office and take a look. Um, there is a calendar of when the payout is. So let's say there's one uh, this week and then there'll be four weeks later, something like that, right? So the, the payout is, uh, the calendar is published in the back office. And you need to unlock them. Okay, you need to unlock them to be able to be eligible for them. So it doesn't automatically, you do not automatically get the um, executive momentum pool just because you hit the executive rank. So you need to unlock them. And also you need to maintain your executive, executive ranks position to be able to enjoy all these uh, bonus pools. Okay, so we shouldn't talk about now. And this 2%, um, this how we calculate this is based on your personal sponsorship tree, okay? There's a way to calculate how much of a share in this uh, bonus pool, um, and it's based on your personal sponsorship tree up to three generations. So PGV tree stands for personal group volume up to three generations, which means um, if you talk about like, let's say like children, you know, so you have your children, your children, and then you have your grandchildren, and then you have a great grandchildren. So up to three levels in your personal sponsorship tree and must be personal, huh? not your team, but your personal. That means the people you brought in on the first level, the people they brought in and the people they in turn bring in. So up to three levels, um, that will help to count towards how they calculate your bonus pools. We'll explain, we'll explain clearly in the next slide. So this is how it works. So if you hit the rank of bronze, um, whatever share you, own, you earn, okay, it will be counted as 50%, it'll be, uh, a factor of 50% of your PGV tree volume. Silver is 60%, gold is 75%, platinum is 100% of your PGV tree volume, okay? Now this makes a lot more sense when you look at it from a, num uh, from a numerical perspective. Huh? So as a quick example, if somebody is bronze this week and their PGV tree volume, that means everyone in their PGV, that means their group volume up to three levels, um, everything add together, there's 2,000. So because they are paid at bronze, they will get it, they will calculate at 50%. So this person has a thousand shares in the bonus pool that week for that particular week, okay? Now, if somebody is paid at gold, okay? And his, uh, his or her personal group volume uh, for that particular week was 6,000, then gold, you're paid out at 75%. And therefore, this person would earn 4,500 pool uh, shares in the pool. So this is how they calculate how much you um, can achieve or how much you can earn out of the 2% of the global volume. Now, what does that tell you? What that basically is telling you that you want to keep your volume as close to you as possible to help to maximize the amount, which means that you should go as wide as you can uh, whenever you can, okay? So how do you unlock your um, bonus pools? You need to hit your ranks twice to unlock. So for example, you're going to for the bonus pool of bronze, you need to unlock your bronze, uh, you need to hit bronze twice. That means last week and this week, and then you unlock your bonus pool for 12 weeks. Same thing for silver, um, it doesn't automatically uh, open for you. You need to um, hit rank of silver twice in a row and they will unlock it for you and that will be 16 weeks. Same thing for gold, 20 weeks, and same thing for platinum, 24 weeks. So a total of 72 weeks. And it doesn't have to be sequential. Sometimes you may have a short break in between, and all you can do it sequentially, or you can even do it, 
in a very tight sequence. That means even before your bronze pool is over, you hit the next rank. So again, it makes more sense when you look at it from an example. So help to explain this. So let's say you have hit um, bronze twice. You have opened your bronze pool. Okay. But you happen to hit your silver twice as well within your bronze pool. You also will open up your silver pool. And so your bronze pool will run for 12 weeks and then your, your silver pool will continue from there. Okay. But then there was a gap, like what I was just saying. So maybe after your silver pool has finished, you didn't attain gold twice, and then you have to wait for a while. There's a short gap, and then you hit gold twice again, and then your, your gold pool will open. And same thing for platinum. And how do they count the how do you count the shares? So again, once you have hit your bronze twice and you open your bonus pool, and you for the first week you were bronze. So congratulations, you earn uh, the shares for first week. But the second week, maybe you, you're put, you're, there was a drop in the performance of your team and then you only hit Director 700 for that week. So for week two, you actually do not get to enjoy any shares at all. Okay. But week three, again, your performance or your, your group has worked, uh, you have worked harder and you get up to bronze again. So week three, you start to earn again. Week four, you earn again. And week five, you earn. And week six, you also earn because you hit the ranks. Now, but let's say in week eight, you actually hit the rank of silver, okay? Which you are still inside your bronze bonus pool period of 12 weeks, right? Uh, but it doesn't open your silver pool yet, okay? So for that week eight, you're still earning at 50%, even though you're silver. But if in week nine, if you hit silver again, this time you have opened your silver pool. And this time for week nine, even though you're still in your bronze pool, you actually will earn at silver. Okay, you earn at silver, so which you earn at 60%. And if you hit silver for the rest of the weeks inside your bronze pool, you earn at 60% even though you are inside the bronze pool. And the same logic applies. So within a silver pool, if for, for some reason or another, in week three of your silver pool, you happen to dip down to bronze, then for that week in the silver pool, you actually do not earn any shares because for silver pool, you need to maintain as silver, okay? And again, week four, you're up to silver again and so on. So on average, the EMP is paid out at $1,000, okay, uh, for average, but the top earners can be earning as high as $10,000 for the executive momentum pool payments. Okay, so that is a significant amount of money. So again, some quick notes about EMP. Remember, you have to hit your rank twice to open up the pool. So for bronze, you have to hit it twice in a row to open up. For silver, you have to hit it twice in a row to open up. For gold, you have to hit it twice in a row to open up gold, etc. Et now, there's something else you need to know as well. If let's say for some reason, some of the fast moving markets, uh, some of you are in very fast moving markets and uh, you skip past in, in a single week, you skip past silver and you skip, you skip past gold and you actually, um, uh, you went all the way to say uh, platinum, right? So you're platinum this week and you're platinum next week. Okay. You actually will open all of your EMPs at the same time. Okay. So even though you, in the same, same week you cross platinum, you went all the way past bronze and silver and gold, then you actually open all at the same time. So just take note of that. Okay, and the reason why the company, company uh, compensation plan is engineered this way that you only open it if you hit twice, is actually meant to protect you because they do want you to take note of, or take advantage of the full uh, period of the, the EMP. Because if sometimes because of a spike in, for some reason, there might be a, very, a huge spike in volume uh, because of promotion and then you hit the rank uh, uh, because of that spike, right? But you're not able to hit it consistently from then on or the next week, then yet, yet you open the pool, then uh, it's not fair to you because you don't get to enjoy all the benefits, right? So just remember that it is meant to protect you. Uh, you need to hit it twice to do that, okay? So, the, the, the long, long and short of it is that open your pool only when you are ready. Okay. That is one, uh, one thing you may, may need to think about. 
And if you look at your organization, talk to your working sponsor or your working uplines, they will be able to guide you properly. So open your pool when you are ready. Okay. Sometimes you may not be, your organization or your teams may not be ready uh, and you may not want to open your pool. Okay. But having said that, then again, diamonds come about from pressure, right? So sometimes we only grow under pressure. And we have seen many times when some when a, a new associate um, hits the bronze once and it hits the bronze another time and they have opened up their bonus pool for EMP, right? For the EMP bronze. That helps them um, to push themselves harder to, to achieve it on a consistent basis from then on. Um, so everybody is different. You need to know your team members very well. Um, you need to know their, their profiles very well. So if somebody works very well under pressure, then you may want to encourage them to open their pool, uh, even though may, they may not be very, very ready in terms of their numbers in their team. But if somebody you know very well that doesn't like pressure that much, then you may want to advise them not to open their pool on, unless they are very, very ready. Okay, so just um, some quick advice or tips for you. Now we come to probably the most exciting part about the compensation plan, which is what we call uh, the check match. So the check match um, is, is like this. So in our compensation plan, we have both a binary tree as well as a personal sponsorship tree. So when you grow your business, you're only moving people on, you're only putting people on your extreme left and extreme right, which is the blues. So the first two person that you enroll, you notice that while they have a position in a binary tree, they also have a position in your sponsorship tree because they are personally enrolled or sponsored by you, right? And they are your first level, okay? They are your first level. So the blues are personal to you and at your first level. Then even though you move down the, the binary tree to the so-called lower down, notice that the two new blues also appear onto the first level of your sponsorship tree, right? Now, then your, your first level personals, the blues, they have started to enroll new people on their own and this will be the oranges, right? Or the yellows is more like orange, okay? So they are your second level. They are your second level or second generation, okay? Second levels. And same thing as they go down the line, again, you have added two more blues. They are your first levels. They have added some more oranges. They are the second levels. And the second levels have also added new people, the purples, they are on the third level, okay? And obviously you can imagine that that will go down the line. Your, your family tree will grow uh, exponentially over time. Okay, so you need to kind of understand this concept because then we need to talk about how you're paid in terms of check match. So for check match, you will be able to match a percentage of team commissions up to seven generations in your personal sponsorship tree. Okay, that means your blues, your oranges, your purples and whatever other colors up to seven colors. Okay, you will be able to match them um, in terms of their team, match a percentage of their team commission. So this is how it works. So if you are bronze, if you qualify at bronze for that week, you are able to check match one generation. And if you are silver, two, gold, three, and so on, up to triple diamond, it is seven generations, which is the maximum that we have. Now, the next part is exciting, it's interesting. Um, we are not like most companies when they talk about seven levels or seven generations, it's, it's literally just not like what we saw. Let me just go back one slide. So when they talk about seven levels, it is like the blues, the oranges, the purples, and then another four levels, uh, four colors, right? We are not like most companies. We are, we, it is a lot more generous than that. So we're going to show you what it means now. So you're taking one line of sponsorship and we are going to go down the line. So you are a silver executive, which means you can check match two generations, right? And then you have Anne, you have John, you have Dave. Now they are not executives yet, but Sarah, fourth, the fourth person is actually a first executive. Now from Sarah onwards, this is actually what we call your first generation. So you notice that even in one generation, you could have more than you can have more than one person or one uh, is like a level, right? So you can be more than one person. So the generation marker is demarcated by your executive level. So your executives demarcate your generations. And then it goes down, that will be your second generation until you hit 
another executive. Okay, so it could potentially go down very, very deep because if there are no executives in between. Okay. So you match a percentage of the team commissions of each of these uh, associates in your team on up to seven generations in your personal sponsorship tree. So remember that everything that we talked about, 50% of global volume will be paid out towards all these places, okay, the, the, comp the complaints that we talked about, okay. So the check match payments, again, it could be on an average 500 US dollars for you, or it could be as high as 20,000 uh, per week for some of the top earners, okay. Some of the top earners could be earning 20,000 from check match uh, per week. So some quick notes about check match. You have to be paid at rank each week to enjoy check match. That means um, you have to qualify at bronze to be able to check match one level. You have to qualify at silver to be able to enjoy two generations and so on and so forth. So you have to be paid at rank for that particular week. And check match is a function of leadership. And the very simple idea is that um, when you help your team to earn, you earn, you earn more, okay? So this is about a function of leadership. When you can help your team members to earn, okay, then you earn. And this is one of the things I really like about our compensation plan because it guides us to the actions that is help, healthy and helpful for everyone. So when you as a team leader and you grow a team and you help them to earn more, and naturally then you will earn more. So it's a function of your leadership. And again, there's absolutely no cap on this. It's not like um, team commissions where it's 10,000. This one has absolutely no cap. So you can actually um, um, earn as much as you want as, as by uh, opening up more lines of sponsorship. Okay, so the more lines you open, the more generations you have. And every single line is, is uh, you can potentially check match against all the people, all the, person, all the people in that line. So the last part of the comp plan is um, something called the global diamond pool. And again, it's very much similar to the EMP. Um, again, they also earn 2% of global volume, okay? So I'm not gonna go through the diamond pool because the requirements is quite similar to EMP, but essentially, uh, once you hit the diamond levels, you open up another pool for you, okay? And it's very interesting because you could still be in the 72 weeks of your EMP, and you open up and you hit the diamond ranks and you open up your diamond pools, you can actually be earning both the EMP as well as the diamond pools at the same time, okay? So um, it, what it essentially means is the EMP of 72 weeks is definitely gonna be paid out to you as long as you are uh, an active so, and you hit the rec requirements, okay? Now, of course, besides the compensation plan, we also have this very, very exciting promotions and programs. So uh, always go into your back office to check and look up because it, it varies and changes from time to time. And there are some very exciting promotions going on all the time. We have um, some um, incentive trips to ascend and convention and so on. So um, all these are actually other uh, incentives that company will roll out from time to time for various markets and you can also go for them because they will help you to go for free trips, go for free uh, go and enjoy new places and so on, right? So don't just focus only on the compensation plan. There are also other incentives that can be won. So again, we have gone through uh, eight parts of the compensation plan. I know we've gone a bit long today, but this is uh, the compensation plan of a seer. Okay, let me just move this down. So you can see. So if you want to, um, if you want to take a screenshot of this, okay, and uh, all the recordings about compensation plan, we actually have put it up in, uh, I put it up in this link. So just uh, go and take a look. All the recordings of previous trainings are also there. Okay, in fact. Um, So I'll give a few seconds for some of you who may want to take a screenshot. Okay, so, uh, and with that, we end today's uh, session on training on the compensation plan. I hope it has been useful for you. Um, what is gonna be, 
what you may want to do is go to this link and there's a training that I've done already because we don't have time to go over it, uh, which is about um, going for Director 300. So sometimes a lot of these things that we talked about might be a bit confusing uh, or it's a lot to digest, but I've um, scaled down to something very, very simple for you. And it's, it's a it's very short training of five to six minutes that can really help you and your team members to understand what are the activities or actions that you need to take um, just to go for Director 300, okay? And then everything is, is um, it builds up from there, right? So uh, we have about a few minutes to the hour. Um, let's see whether anybody has questions. I can just quickly answer. Sorry, I'm not too used to the webinar format. Um, so, I'm not too sure whether I can unmute everyone at the same time. I think you need to raise your hands if you have a question. So again, it'll be put out as a recording for you. Uh, you can always, um, like I said in the beginning, you know, use it to point to people and um, save yourself that time, okay? Uh, a lot of times when people ask you for compensation plan, especially if you're not in the business yet, it is very much like a knee-jerk reaction. I've, I've actually stopped, um, I've actually stopped sharing about compensation plan already for a long, long time, uh, for at least half a year. And it is interesting because your team grows rather than goes down, right? Um, so, uh, so that that is good for you. So don't have to know the comp plan. Just point to just point to videos. Okay, looks like there's no question. Thanks everyone for your compliments. If there are no more questions, let me just give another minute or so. Okay, if not, good night everyone. Thank you for your attendance and hope this has been helpful for you. Bye.